Hello everyone, Jeanette here with Bebo Vintage Designs. I wanted to redo this video because the other one that I just posted earlier today cut out on me. The uh, SD card on my phone was full and I couldn't videotape any longer than I did. But I really wanted to show you this technique because I think it'll, it'll be really helpful to those of you who are still having issues blowing petals. So um, what you're going to need is the color of your choice. I'm using uh, Passion Purple by Pinata. You're going to need some cotton swabs and an airbrush. The PSI is set at 40 and you're going to need some alcohol. And so I wanted to show you before I even begin. Let me come out a little bit here. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to be laying down my hand like this. So the bottom of my fingers are resting on the table and the tip of my airbrush is resting on the paper, but it's at an angle because my hands are holding it up a little bit, my fingers. So, okay, let's get, oh, let's do it like this. All right. So again, this is photo paper. And the PSI is set at 40. So I'm going to put down a drop of alcohol, an oval shape, and I'm going to do short spurts. And I'll be using the cotton swab to collect the excess alcohol and to reshape my petal if it's going in a direction I'm not crazy about. If your tip gets too long, just mop up the alcohol. But do it while the air isn't blowing because putting the Q-tip there changes the direction of the alcohol, the flow. Make sure you dry it all the way to the end and you can see it drying. And note that I've not moved the airbrush yet at all. Once I see it's dry, then I can finish it off like that. And now we're going to put down another drop of alcohol. Let it sit for a moment. And then short spurts. If it's getting too pointy, round it off. Not moving the airbrush at all. And make sure to change your, your uh, cotton swab if it starts to get too much ink on it. Okay. This is so easy. I'm hoping that it really helps you all. And if you want darker petals, what you can do is go over them a second time. And you'll get more color in your petals. And notice the distance. I'm almost at the edge of the paper when I put my airbrush down.
I'm gonna go all the way around. When I see that my petal has reached the length that I'm happy with, I'm just using the cotton to mop up a little bit of the alcohol so it doesn't continue, the petal doesn't continue to grow. And these petals are all in a line. You can do, um, you know, start with one here and do the opposite side and you can stagger them. But um, I just wanted to show you how easy this is. Let it sit for a moment. And now you see I'm reaching a length that I'm happy with. So I'm just collecting some of that alcohol. And if your flower is taking a shape you don't like, just wipe that part off. and then continue until it's completely dry. Okay, this is going to be my last one. And then I'll show you how you can darken them if you want to. So let's say you want a darker one here, put down some more alcohol and just repeat the process. 
short spurts. You can reshape them, like I said, just cleaning it up. darker one over here. There's a piece of fuzz on my paper. See how much darker they get when you go over them a second time? See, I didn't use a clean cotton swab there, so I got a smudge, but that'll be easy to clean up. All right, and just so they don't look like they're stacked one on top of the other, because that's not the way nature works. Let's do another one over here. Now I just want to even it out, so I'm going to put one more over here. And if you move your airbrush, you can change the direction of the pedal. Notice this one's coming down. If I move my airbrush this way, I can make it go in the other direction. But I want it to go this way, so I'm going to leave it. So now let me show you how you can clean that up. Just put a little bit of alcohol on a cotton swab. Mine is dirty. The tip of my alcohol bottle is dirty. But anyway, you can just wipe it up like that. And then I'm going to cut that off anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. This is such a deep purple that it can stain your paper. But all right, so now we've got the flower completed. I want to make sure the center is dry. And to do the center of it, I'm going to use a micro brush and some snow cap. And what's going to happen is that because the purple is such a saturated color, the snow cap will absorb it. And that's okay for now because um, I want to create a foundation for my center. So I'm going to dip my micro brush into the snow cap, tap some of it off, and then I'm going to start dotting. And you can see immediately it's picking up the purple underneath. And as I go lower, I have less paint on my brush, which is what I want, because that's going to be the dark 
part of my flower. I'm going to dip again, clean off the excess, and if you want the white to be really white, what I suggest you do is to give the painting some time to dry, and then you can spray the center with your, uh, what am I using, the uh, Krylon um, lacquer, is it, no, varnish, I'm sorry and then that will seal the center and when you add more white what will happen is that it will stay white it won't absorb any more of the purple but for the sake of the video I'm just going to continue to add more color so that you get the idea and as my brush runs out of paint or ink rather then I move it down a little bit I like it better when I seal it myself. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that, but this is what it looks like completed. And I just wanted you to see how easy it is to create these petals with this technique that I discovered. Very simple. All right, let me know if you try this, how it works for you. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you have any questions. Also, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Vivo Vintage Designs. Thanks, everyone.